what up? Sitting, waiting at a <clears throat> steel yard. As you can tell, the beam's over there. Gotta be picking up, I think, this pile and that one over there. And taking it to Sheridan, Wyoming. I've been here since like, uh, I think 12. And right now it's about 11.30, maybe a little bit longer. Seen the guy walk around and count the pieces, but they haven't started loading me yet. I'll get back to you guys when uh, they start loading me and when I start strapping. So meanwhile, we wait to get loaded. Um, here's a quick video, it's like a minute long, of a driver watching a movie while driving and not paying attention to the road. And this is what can happen. Cold morning. I'm about 30 miles away from Sheridan. Doing my pre trip. right now getting unloaded right now in this beautiful weather Steel and snow do not mix together. Man, it is sli they are slippery. Metal and snow, man. <sighs> Pretty cool place here in uh, Sheridan. Sheridan, Wyoming. I'm all dressed up. Got my cold gear on. So, not bad. Whoa, slippery. All right. Sweet. Just unloaded. Got one pallet from them. I'm going to the same place where I picked up. It's uh, snowing pretty, pretty heavily right now. There's the place. Spearfish picking up lumber. Uh, picking up lumber, no tarp. They're all nicely covered. 
already. It's gonna be heavy, but that's good in this weather. It's good. Not paying much, but it is what it is. You know, I can confidently say that the toughest truckers are the open deck guys. Not the reefers, not the drive-ins. I did drive-ins before. Never did reefer, but um, yeah. All the snow, the ice, doesn't matter. We're, we're working, you know. Loading, strapping, tarping out there in this weather. Grinding away. You know, I wish the brokers and the shippers understood that and the, the shippers see it but the brokers don't i wish they paid for it you know maybe back in the day it was really good being a flatbed driver but now it's like they evened out the playground and now it's like 10 15 cents more for flatbed than drive in drive in come out open your doors back in into a dock into a door and that's it and you're sitting in the truck waiting for for the forklift driver to load you or unload you here you have to be in the elements working but it is what it is it'll probably change when people get start getting sick and tired of not getting paid enough for this job either they what's the options they're either going to quit and find a different job all the owner operators or the company drivers like that guy right there he's lifting up heavy ass tarps onto his uh flatbed cuz he's going to have to be tarping man sucks i don't i don't have to tarp this load um yeah but there's people that are in this industry that are you know trucking is their lifestyle their life it, no matter the hardships how hard it is how cheap it pays they're gonna keep grinding away and keep doing it because that's all they know how to do you know, I have experience in tile, in carpet, masonry, you know, so I can always get a different job if this doesn't pay. But these guys are hardcore dudes that they got nothing else they can do. So they're, they're, the only thing they know how to do is tr truck drive, flatbed, step deck, RGN. Yeah, too bad nobody... Um, the brokers don't understand. They sit in their warm offices and uh, make phone calls all day long. When it's hot, AC, when it's cold, heaters on. But these dudes are out there grinding. Not a lot of people understand that. So, more problems with this truck I was at the pickup right before I got loaded check engine light went on then the red check engine light went on started beeping stop engine extremely low coolant I started looking open up the hood coolant was full so the sensor went bad so luckily I had a spare coolant tank reservoir with a sensor on it so just uh, what I did was unplug the sensor from the connector and just drove until I got to the, there's a Western, uh, not a Western freight, freight liner dealership over there. Went, went there to make sure that I had the sensor, had the sensor with me. They didn't need to buy one, but check this out. Look at all this. Beautiful weather.
you know, you got to keep everybody safe around you. Let them know. No, we're, we're not touching the license plate. We don't care about the license plate. That looks evil. Ah, yeah, it's cold, cold, cold. Come on. weather in Wyoming and South Dakota just <sighs> black ice everywhere and then snow and not not really anybody's cleaning it so I'm pulling in it's like nine in the evening I think now I got 92 miles left until my delivery tomorrow morning and tomorrow should be a better day. I've, I'm just out of it already. So see you all tomorrow at the delivery. Turn left on I We're going back at it again. 20 minutes later, 15 minutes later, because parking lot is full. And it was like only six trucks could stop there. And then a bunch of snow that's not clean. Turn left on I-25 South. A bunch of snow that's not clean. On the other parking lot and I'm not getting stuck. I'm not, I don't want to risk it there. So that in the morning I wake up and I can't get out of the parking lot. What kind of an exit is this? So, hopefully, I can get to Cheyenne. That's I 25 right here. Yeah, they're cleaning it. There's a uh, truck driving. Continue on I 25. Oh, come on, be quiet. And, but it's like, it still keeps coming down and. Are they using salt or, or or sand or what are they using to clean up? Here's a here's a guy, brave guy right there. Oh, double too. Oof. Kind of hard to see what they do there. Ooh, uh. Take it easy. Just take it easy. I think all the slow guys are 15 minutes ahead of me. The ones that I had to pass in the left lane. Now apparently I'm the slow guy. 44 miles. Eh, maybe in 45, 50 minutes I'll be in Cheyenne. So what up guys? Sorry, didn't make a video unloading the pallet and then the lumber just too much on my mind got that unloaded now heading home truck the park at uh, tr uh, park the truck at the yard and um, now uh, what I did was I had a stop engine light and the truck kept shutting off on my pickup 
and it was saying that low, extremely low coolant level. So I had a extra coolant tank with a sensor on it. So I swapped that out at the yard just now and that check engine light went away. Got that figured out. What else, what else? Um, trying right now to um, score a deal with the guys that I shipped to and from steel. That's why I didn't make a video, just too much thinking about it. Trying to go from Greeley to um, Sheridan, Wyoming and back. So we'll see how that's gonna work out. Hoping they're gonna give me a call here shortly, today or tomorrow or Monday. Cause he said he has five of those loads next week and I can easily take three off their hands. So we'll see. All right, I think this is gonna be a little one, short one. We'll see you next week when we start working. Have a good weekend, stay safe. It's cold, 27 degrees, raining in Colorado, Commerce City. And that's it. Peace out.